Hi, it's Hogan here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it is basically a tool provided by Google, and it helps you track how many visitors are coming to your website and what they're actually doing. So it's really important because you want to know whether or not your website is actually good or it's not, um, which content is popular, so then you can improve it. Okay, so if you have a website, then this is a must have. And if you don't have it, then you're probably not serious about your website because this is free and it's an amazing tool. So let's get started. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress, then you'll need to hover over plugins, click on add new, and then we're going to search for a plugin. It's called Google Analytics Dashboard for WP. Okay, and then click on enter. The plugin that we're going to install has over 800,000 installs. Okay, so this one here, and then click on install now. Activate the plugin. And then once you've activated that, then you should see a Google Analytics tab here. Okay, click on general settings and authorize that plugin. And before we get the access code, you'll actually need a Google Analytics account. Okay, so some of you may have one already, but some of you may not. Um, you'll need a Google account. So if you don't have one, get a Google account first. After you've done that, then search up Google Analytics and then click on the result here. Okay, so you just need a login, sign in here. And if you're actually new to Google Analytics, it should be a different um, setup. So you'll have to click on sign up now. I think somewhere on the right here, um, click on that. And then after that, it should, your dashboards should look something like this. Okay. So it should look something like this. Okay. And all you need to do basically just enter in a account name. So for example, this might be demo website. Um, it could be your business name or your um, domain name. And then I'm just going to name a demo website. Okay, for your website URL, you should put your URL. Um, just copy it from your browser here. Copy that to your clipboard. And basically just paste that into here. And make sure to delete the HTTP. Okay, because if you don't, um, then it should say invalid. Okay, because it's already included in the front here. And you can choose the other extension as well. Okay, and for industry category, select which one you're in. This one may be business. Um, select your time zone. So I might type in Australia. Okay, and in Melbourne. And scroll down here and click on Get Tracking ID. And afterwards, you can search for your country here as well. Okay, I don't really read these things. I'm just going to scroll right down like that and click on I Accept. Okay, that's really simple. So that's done. And normally, um, if you don't download the plugin, you'll have to copy this code and add it to your website. But luckily with the plugin, it's really simple. So let's go back here and click on get access code. Once you've done that, this should pop up and it basically allows the plugin that we downloaded access to your analytics data. Okay, click on allow. We're going to copy this code to your clipboard and we'll need to paste it into here. Okay. And then click on save access code. Okay. So once you've done that, um, if you have multiple websites, you may have to select the website, um, here, but, um, it's already selected. Click on lock selection and we can click on save changes. And once that is done, basically you'll have your analytics on your dashboard. So click on dashboard, and this is the analytics dashboard and it'll basically tell you um, the basic and the most important data that you need to know. For example, how many visitors are coming to your website, um, how many page views and things like that. And you can search up um, different time frames as well as real time and also all different sorts of things. Okay. So generally, um, let's see, let's go back to our home. And if you click on that, then you can actually see all the data here for a more in-depth um, look at your website's visitors and what they're doing. So you can see how many users are coming to your website, um, how many pages they're viewing, how long they're staying for, and you know, are they actually clicking on your other pages? Okay. So all these information is really important and there are a lot of tutorials out there. So make sure to 
catch up on that. And you can also see you know, where they're coming from, um, how old they are, and just a lot of information that you can um, make the best decisions for your website and the content. Okay, one more thing before we finish up. Um, you probably don't want to track your own um, visits, okay? Because you might have like, you know, 100 sessions, but there may be, you know, 99s from you. So that's not good. So what you need to do is go to Google and type yourself, type block yourself from analytics. Okay, and this should pop up here. Okay, this is for Google Chrome, but if you're using Safari, you can just type in um, Safari like that and then you can download it from here, okay? Or um, if you're using um, Firefox, then you can search up um, Firefox, okay? And this is the plugin that you'll need, okay? But for us, we'll be using this one for Google Chrome. Click on that. And we'll just need to add it to Chrome, add extension, and then once that is added, it's really simple. You should have a little icon thing here, okay? Or it might be on the side. Click on that and click on options. Okay, so we wanna block um, our website. Okay, so copy your website there and basically just paste it into there like that, okay? And if your website has a www dot in front, then make sure to include that as well. Okay, mine one doesn't, okay? So if I copy that, and if we paste that over again, okay, you won't see the www dot, okay? If it does, then make sure to include that, okay? And then click on add, apply, and I think that is it, close it, and let's check if that's in there. Okay, so that's correct, and that's basically it. So if you like the tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Okay, thank you, and see you guys in the next tutorial.